This episode of Hopkinton Coffee Break is sponsored by Pure Solutions. Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hi, welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. Uh, Darlene and I are here with Trevor Nelson from Pure Solutions, and today's show is sponsored by Pure Solutions. Um, a shout out and condolences to our sidekick, Patricia Duart, partner in crime. Uh, she had a loss in the family with her sister-in-law, so can't be with us today. So sorry, Patricia. We miss you, and, and big hugs. Um, but l before we dive in, there's a little bit of catch up on things that have been going on in the community. You just were at the senior, um, parent dinner dance? Yeah, they had it at uh, Gillette Stadium. Was that fun? Uh, it, was, it was really nice. I didn't stay, with Andrew and I, didn't, you know, we didn't stay for all the dancing or anything, but uh, it was really nice. It was, then the kids clean up nice. <laughs> and, so, and um, your friend Barbara Timko yeah. really worked really hard to put together this amazing slideshow, but with like 250 kids and each parent had, had submitted anywhere from like four to six pictures in it. Wow. The slideshow was like over an hour long watching wow. the thing go but through. But was it, did you do it while other things were going on or was it just watching it for an hour? They were watched. really slow putting out food. It was really watching it, but it was good. I mean, it was nice and stuff like that. And, you know, and they did it in reverse alphabetical order. Oh, cute. So you're like, you're waiting for your kid to come up and like, okay, I can go to the restroom or I can go to the bar now. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of knew when your, mm -hmm. your child was going to be on. That's cool. And then we had a party at your place. Your, well, your daughter came to the We just had last Memorial week. Day weekend. And there was a lot going on in town. And um, there was a Memorial Day parade and, and all that good stuff. And that was a lot of fun. And that's, on it's Memorial Day, actually, the, um, the, town, the town lost um, Ray Draw. I know. And uh, when I was on the board of the Senior Center, Ray was my dancing buddy at events and things like that. Um, so uh, actually from here, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be stopping at St. John's because I, I couldn't be at the wake last night. Yeah. But um, you know, our condolences out to Punky and her brother, too, for yeah. loss of Ray's. I'm very much a big hit in town. Yeah. So And then coming up, we have the Sharon Timlin. Race coming That's up on the fourteenth, and then tomorrow is um, touch a truck. Yes, touch a truck. We've gone to that. That's a couple so of cool and stuff. So you know, if you have young families, it's touch a truck at um, Hawking High School, and it's, it's food trucks, and then touch a. You should bring a pure solution truck there. Yeah, yeah we can need touch to get it. one of those. Touch, <laughs> some, touch some chemicals. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no chemicals. No chemicals. This is so what's cool. So great segue. It's really neat that Pure Solutions uh, is actually sponsoring today. And any time a company wants to sponsor, it's a very nominal donation that goes 100% to HCAM. And HCAM is a nonprofit that is doing a service to our community. So thank you for Pure Solutions for being here today. Yeah. And Thanks for having us. So, well, Trevor, first of all, a little bit about yourself. Okay. Because um, you and your cousin are the founders of the company. We are, yeah. And, yeah. um, but you grew up in Massachusetts? Grew up in Massachusetts, um, went to culinary school, was a hotel restaurant management major. Uh -huh. um, Brian is a graduate of Northeastern. And we started the company as kind of a summertime job um, and then got kind of really serious about it, kind of geeky about, uh, you know, the issues at hand with the control of mosquitoes and ticks. And when he graduated from Northeastern uh, back in 2011, we went on full time. Very cool. So tell us a little bit about the company itself. Um, so Pure Solutions uh, started back in 2005, and we are a service company. We do yard sprays for the control of mosquitoes and ticks, and we also do um, landscaping uh, property sprays for deer control as well. So that's more of a kind of a protecting the investment uh, of your landscaping type type service. So you mean when they mow down, I can't believe it this year, they were so hungry, they never eat my iris, so they were eating my and iris yeah. and my hospice. It's like, really? Yeah, with the winter that we had, you know, we've kind of got these three, Gracious. you know, yeah, exactly. So um, we do yard sprays, we, we only use national organic program compliant products, uh, which is essentially as close so to- say that again. Okay. So, and naturally so organic- National- National- Organic program compliant. Okay. Um, is a USDA program, which is essentially as close as we can get to certified organic um, in the capacity where we are actually killing um, insects with our okay. product. Um, so these are EPA- they're EPA-exempt products. Okay. Um, so a lot of your traditional pesticides are uh, EPA-registered, mm -hmm. and our product is EPA-exempt. 
And by EPA exempt, it's considered natural. It's considered. And it's, there's a, a list of ingredients. It's called the 4A list. And if the active and inert ingredients come from this list of then ingredients, then we're good to go. So, and what is your active ingredient? You were so we about? use uh, a product that's base is rosemary oil. Oh. And, you know, recently... That smells nice. Too. Yeah. It smells good. It smells good. And, yeah. and, and recently... Does it, does, it ki the, does it kill the ticks and mosquitoes or does it repel them? It, it does a little bit of both. So the, the key component to tick control is you want to have the knockdown, which is the killing component. And then over time with, um, with the National Organic Program compliant products, you have this residual component. Um, so unlike traditional pesticides where you have this real powerful killing and residual that's toxic to um, watersheds uh, in aquatic life um, our product doesn't have that toxicity uh, but does also maintain the control and the killing of Very the cool. insect i know that like with our pets and even with all the snow we had we were still getting ticks in like march and april that early coming right. in and does it, is it harmful to animals that they go it's out there It's not. Kids? So our product's safe for kids, pets, doesn't kill bees or butterflies. Um, it also has a livestock rating, so we can spray in chicken coops and oh, spray cool. in and around barns and where horses are. Uh, so it's a really low impact product that, um, you know, is focused on. So did you guys create this chemical compound? We didn't. So, you know, Brian and I, uh, you know, did a lot of research. Google is an amazing thing. Um, on kind of the products that are out there. Um, really our focus in starting the company was to stay away from the traditional pesticides. Um, and we found a manufacturer that was um, utilizing this product, um, but it wasn't widely used because a lot of the traditional companies that are using traditional pesticides, um, they uh, just didn't want to go down the organic route. They saw results with the synthetics and so they wanted to stay there. So it kind of opened the door for us to come in and create a relationship with the manufacturer. So our product's called Progea and it's exclusive to our company. Uh, we operate throughout New England oh. and we have a national exclusivity on the product uh, as well really? as national distribution cool. on the product. So uh, very unique to, to Pure Solutions. That is really awesome. Yeah. Now, um, you currently have some clients here in Hopkinton. We have and, a good and number of clients uh, in Hopkinton. Uh, we service about a thousand plus clients um, in, in kind of the 495 loop. Mm -hmm. um, and we're also in um, on the vineyard and on Cape as well. And, and what, um, you know, as, as we think about why is the season so, you know, the mosquitoes are voracious they and are. I keep hearing you know, everybody ha seeing, finding more ticks on their pets than they have in years past. Yeah. We've why? got them on us. Right. Yeah. Yeah, why? That's a great question. So you've got a couple different factors in play. Uh, one is kind of this exponential growth in population. Okay. Uh, one adult female deer tick can lay up to 2,000 eggs. Oh, God. Which is incredible. She's a dog. going to have the heebie <laughs> It's incredible to think about. Uh, the ticks um, are duggers. Pretty amazing. Um, and so that's kind of... That's like the first issue that we have to kind of focus on. And the second is um, the winter that we had. So with the snow cover and kind of the sustained snow cover and the sustained cool, cold weather, uh, it created kind of this thermal blanket. So it protected and them. And so it protected them. So it them. didn't kill them. Correct. So they had insulation. So they wow. stay dormant uh, over the winter time. And as soon as that snow cover's gone and the temps are in the 40s, boom, we have this huge population surge and this activity surge. Wow. Um, now, I've heard, and this is strange, that possums like to eat ticks, that they're voracious. Yeah, you know, there's I don't a know, lot I of. Think, I think I would hire Pure Solutions. Well, I know, I know, I know. We're trying to <laughs> <We're trying laughs> <to, laughs> <we're trying laughs> hire a fleet of <laughs> right. I, I, I'll, I'll a fleet of possums. possums. <laughs> so, you know, and having them in a pet, keeping them in my yard or something. I mean, it was some lady on Housewives page last week who was looking how to rent a goat <laughs> because she wanted them to eat the weeds in her yard. I'm like, that's great. Yeah, yeah. biodynamics. Yeah, yeah, super, super cool. Love it. Great love way it. to. Not that I really to want to be like, but, uh, because so like, I was assuming that goats would leave other things in the yard to have to be picked up after they eat the weeds. Right. Natural There's fertilizer. Some, some, some yeah. maintenance there. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so that's why we have this incredible tick population, exactly. and then I assume the mosquitoes. Same reason. Yeah, and the moisture. A lot of moisture. Now it's been really dry though lately, right. so hopefully that'll. You know, so cut with it. the amount of precipitation that we had over the winter time, you know, we have 
a significant amount of groundwater mm -hmm. um, and kind of pooling of, of water and wetlands. Um, so that kind of kickstarts the mosquito activity. Um, moisture is key for both mosquitoes yeah. and ticks. And then kind of as we start to see rain here, hopefully soon, yeah. um, you know, that will kind of continue the, the cycle. Great, great. So if you want to get rid of mosquitoes, make certain you don't have any standing water. That's that's really important. Yeah, and even kind of basic maintenance, you know, if you have, um, you know, a backyard barbecue and you've got, you know, salad bowls and, and glasses um, that collect with water, um, that will be ideal breeding um, habitat for mosquitoes. So like just out for a week or out for uh, a Out for a week plus, yeah, and you, there's potential for um, or a breeding environment in, in a salad bowl or um, a wheelbarrow. So I mean, I know my daughter's had Lyme disease, and each time that she's been diagnosed, it's been where we've been in Maine. Yeah. But And it seems like it's always been worse there. But this year here, every day they're on the dog, even if they're just led in our backyard, which is the size of a postage stamp. Yeah. Right. Coming in. There's so much, yeah, there's, there's just so much activity. And, you know, rodents play a role, deer play a role in kind of trafficking um, <laughs> ticks throughout neighborhoods. And right. so you're finding ticks. So vermin and bugs. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, and you're finding ticks in urban environments more and more, um, which is kind of, kind of counterintuitive. So yeah. um, definitely something to be. So on, on your website, uh, which is puresolutions.com, yeah. it says you come out and you, you do like a free survey and estimate and stuff like if, if you go out there, it's, it's, you go to Connie's house or my house and check it out, then we say, okay, we want Pure Solutions to come, kill all our ticks, kill all our mosquitoes. Do you have to keep coming back? Or yeah, is how many one times, times a year? Yeah, so with um, the National Organic Program compliant products, and there are very few out there mm -hmm. uh, that kind of work in this capacity, uh, we can get really good efficacy almost as close to the synthetics, mm -hmm. but we have to come out every 21 days over the course of the season. Okay. Uh, so if you're tick focused, we're starting March, April, and we're going into November. Wow. Um, and if you're mosquito focused, it's a little bit later start, a little bit earlier finish, um, but we recommend April to November for, for the best uh, okay. control. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. And people can go right out on their yard right after you do it? Yeah, so that's what's nice about our product as well. You know, you, we don't have that wait time, that long wait time that some of the synthetics have. Um, so it typically takes between 20 and 30 minutes for our product to dry. And then once it's dry, um, I mean, it's safe to go on the property when it's wet, but who would want to trudge around and, you know, on a well, wet you property? Want it, you well, and you want to keep it. Yeah, and you want to make sure that sure it's, it does. It, it's drying and it's staying down. And then from there, it's, you know, it's safe for... So kids and pets to go. I find it interesting, rosemary oil, because they keep finding new and interesting things about rosemary and rosemary oil. Apparently, the smell of rosemary is a memory enhancer. Mm. So you have to see if your memory improves. Take a look at that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of kind of garden remedies that have been used for you know hundreds of years, and a lot of gardeners will plant rosemary and thyme. Uh, in the garden to mm -hmm. act as kind of natural repellents um, while they're we you know, enjoying. We plant she's been sauce. Yeah, exactly. And then that's the benefit <laughs> They're, they're in Sunday gravy. Yeah, that's um, the benefit too. You can cook with it, which is great. I, one of the things I picked up on your website that I thought was actually cool is that um, you could do these like kind of one-off like event sprays. Yeah. And, um, you know, I do a lot of So you're of having events. a big enter, you know, party or Graduation parties are coming up soon. and. Uh, so we do these event sprays, and that entails two services, uh, one a week before the event and then one the day before the event. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's controlling the population and then puts up that residual barrier for, keep for the away. evening. Exactly. So yeah. I think, I mean, with Fourth of July coming up and through Labor Day, the whole, oh, yeah. you know, lots, so many events. Could have used your Memorial Day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a busy week for us leading up to Memorial Day weekend. We yeah. yeah. A lot of services, yeah. I bet. Yeah. I bet. So. And then you have um, a thing about uh, rainwater initiatives. What does that mean? Yeah, so Brian and I, um, when you know we started the company, sustainability was really important to us. Mm -hmm. You know, utilizing you know these national organic program compliant products was really mm -hmm. important to us. And so, kind of to go hand in hand, we developed a rainwater collection <gasps> system where we. Um, run the entire operation off of collected rainwater. Seriously? Yeah. That so. is incredible. Because that we, is very cool. Because what was it, Deb Kelly? Who was oh, it that got the Deb rain Deb Kelly barrel? got, for Mother's Day, essentially a, a barrel cistern to collect. Great. And in California, they do this all the time. Oh, and yeah. they use the non-potable water to then irrigate their yards. 
And they even had in their house um, their plumbing systems for new construction in California. Great. Use yeah. your gray water to flush toilets and um, even do laundry, you know, it, it, and, and eventually um, some of the gray water goes and does irrigation if you have biodegradable detergents. But it's the it's whole great. bit of, yeah. that's incredible. So where are you collecting? Yeah, well, how do you yeah. collect? Like, you know, you collect your mother's house and exactly. it's not your cousin's right. house. The network, <laughs> the network of friends yeah. and family. I have to put a barrel at your house. So our um, operations in our main office is in, in Weston, Massachusetts. Okay. I went to school with And um, we have um, a, a piece of property in Weston where we use a roof line. We correct all of the, the rain that we get into 2,200 uh, wow. gallon tanks and we have four of those and then we use diatomaceous earth which yep. we put into pool to filters filter, yep. to filter I know that the water stuff well. um, and then we pull our trucks in we have 11 trucks and we pull the trucks into these bays and we fill up and we mix our, our organic solution and then we go out and we spray properties so this uh, is serious product. this stuff. is really yeah. kind of very cool it's pretty neat I neat, love so pretty neat green footprint we've been working on yeah, yeah. exactly you know. Exactly. Um, so, so the next step will be getting a uh, hybrid and electric vehicles. Right. Well, our uh, one of our sales our sales vehicle is a smart car. Awesome. Uh, so we definitely mm -hmm. are going in that direction. You know, it's hard. We the the tanks that we have on the back of our trucks are two hundred gallon tanks, yeah. so they're so really really need, heavy. So we you need, need a big some you can't powerful have a Prius vehicles. Pulling them. You can't have a Prius. <laughs> Uh, but once you know we get that technology, Soon. the guy Soon. come out with a little squirt Soon. gun, like got it, <laughs> right. just that one tick. Right, right. spa treatments, <laughs> it's super strategic. That's great. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So you guys have really uh, so adopted the green moniker. Now, Most is this definitely. something that so technically you know, this is actually your tenth year of business too? It is, yeah. Which is that's really pretty. just incredible to think about for, that. Yeah. So what uh, are what are the next? steps for you guys as a business? Where do you see yourself headed? Um, yeah. Yeah, so we think about that a lot. Um, you know, we kind of, Brian and I consider ourselves, you know, children of New England. Um, you know, we enjoy the mountains in New Hampshire and we do a lot of sailing coastal New England. And so really for us, it's kind of spreading uh, the business throughout New England and, and really becoming educators on, you know, how to be preventative. You know, even if, you know, people decide not to go with our service, uh, there are a lot of things that we can do uh, and, and to educate on um, so that we are really preventing what is becoming an endemic. So what do you guys... For example. For example, yeah. So, you know, let's say that spraying uh, isn't in your budget. Uh, there's a lot of kind of um, good housekeeping things that you can do around the house, making sure that, you know, the, the landscape is, is properly manicured, um, that leaf litter is picked up both in the spring and the fall because ticks love to leaf. kind of stay in the leaf litter oh, due to the moisture. Wow. Uh, and then things like barriers. You know, a lot of properties in New England have uh, wetlands abutting or wood lines abutting. And so creating a really good barrier, sometimes with bark mulch works great. Oh, um, so putting bark really? mulch between mm -hmm. the wood line and, you know, the common areas of the property. Ticks don't like to get low and exposed. Seriously? And so bark now mulch. I, yeah. I, so they like to. They like to stay in areas where there's good moisture and they like to be elevated because that's how they find like on a shrub and they like my tall grasses ears. <laughs> exactly exactly and so you know by doing some of those kind of basic um, you know property maintenance um, things you'll you'll be better off than if you just kind of let it all go wild so here's another question so great you treat your yard but what if you're want to go out for a hike or, or you know, take a walk somewhere and, yeah, you know, exactly. it's not treated out exactly. there. Exactly. So what do um, you do? There, there are a few products out, you know, on the market. Um, do I can, go and take my rosemary plant and just rub it all over right? me? Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they should bottle some of that little Progea stuff and so you can a, spritz it on ankles and exactly. stuff like that. Exactly. So um, part of kind of where we're going is we've figured out how to protect the property. Right. Now we want to figure out how to travel with you when you go for a hike in the okay. woods. And so we're in the process of bottling currently a Progea product. We're starting with pets. Okay. It's called Progea Pet. And oh, it's cool. going to be a topical spray, uh, very similar uh, um, ingredients to what's in our yard product, in our property spray. And that will be something you'll be able to you know, take with you if you go on hikes or taking the dog out for a walk. Cool. And then from that there we'll really evolve into um, you know, topical products for, for people as well. That's, that's so you're busy cool. basically March, April through November. Exactly. So what do you do? Yeah. You know, so hibernate. 
Yeah, no, no. So we are really customer service focused. Um, you know, we want to be able to provide the best possible customer or client experience. And so one thing we pride ourselves on as a company is when you call our office, uh, you know, you get someone on the phone, mm -hmm. and within 15 minutes, um, we can kind of walk you through what we do, why we do what we do, and how we do what we do. And then from there, we can email you an estimate. Uh, we map properties using a, a mapping software. Mm -hmm. Oh, and so, so you don't even have to come out. We you don't even need to come out. But we, Google Earth. <laughs> yeah, this, technically, yeah. And but you know, we love to do you know one-on-one -on -one walkthroughs if that's something that the you know yeah. the client wants. And so within 15 minutes, you have an estimate. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you know, we can get you on the schedule uh, next day. Mm -hmm. uh, typically within 48 hours is is our goal. So you know, there's a lot of service companies out there that are that you'll call and ask to come. And they'll be like, oh, we'll see you next Friday, and it's you know Monday of the of the previous week. And so we really try to get people you know, educated on the schedule within 48 hours uh, and then get them on the program. So we focus tremendously on that customer service okay. piece. So the winter time is a time when the whole team gets together. We talk about what's working, what's not working, how we want to improve you know, the client experience, and then you know, implement those systems and then the following year. Um, you know, deliver on that. So we're very busy in the winter time. So yeah. it's your planning and exactly. researching exactly. and and, and exactly. um, yeah. probably doing a lot of Development, marketing. Yeah. Some marketing. Um, exactly. Yeah. So. Very, very cool. Yeah. So and this is a busy time of year now. It's really busy. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. We're, we're lucky to, to have you now because I'm sure this is crunch time. It is, yeah, exactly. But it's it's great to be here. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And um so what are your plans for the weekend? Do you guys work weekends? Do you go out? It really depends on kind of how the weather is during the week. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not allowed to spray or we don't spray when it's raining. Uh, we need the product to really dry on the property. Got so it. if it rains during the week, sometimes we'll work Saturdays. We check in with our clients to see if that's even a possibility for them for that week. Mm -hmm. Typically we work Monday through Fridays. Right. Yeah. Um, but we do work some Saturdays. So for you having you know, a dry yard is, is preferable. It's, to yeah, apply. It's, it's preferable, yeah. And then, you know, we get the product down and it dries, and then after that, it's, you know, rain is fine. Now, when you go to someone's yard that may have like a swimming pool and things like that, does, it, does that affect like going in the water? Or it like doesn't, that? no. I mean, that's what's really cool. nice about, you know, the product. Obviously, our field specialists are trained to be respectful of the gardens <laughs> and, you know, things like pools and, yeah. and hot tubs and stuff. And so we're, we're very careful and we treat each property like it's our own. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. We want to thank you guys for coming out. Oh, Check yeah. out puresolutions.com. Uh, their logo will be up here and a hyperlink on the show. To, um, it'll air tonight. Actually, it's going to air tonight and sometimes next week. And right. it'll be up on our YouTube channel. Yeah. Looking forward to it. And uh, we'll, we'll have to, um, you'll have to check back in with us and you know, tell us how the business is going. It's very cool. And we can let you know kind of how the, how the fall is as well. You yeah. Because typically right. when we have a high activity spring, we'll also have a, a oh, really, really Because really I mean, I think what you're doing is it's a, it's, a, it's a healthy solution to a really hot, very, very high health risk. Exactly. Well, one of the, the um, recent studies has shown that um, not only Lyme, but there's an uptick, pun intended, of tick-borne diseases, yeah. uh, wow. other styles, and then that Lyme itself is increasing. Oh, yeah. Um, it, it itself really is, is um, and, you know, uh, you know, as we become more, you know, moving into the environment, um, I've heard that, you know, various animals, because of their populations are pushing back into suburbia yeah. and, and um, urban environments, and so, you know, what used to be just a uh, out in the forest issue exactly. is uh, everybody's issue in their own backyard. Um, so, and uh, as we kind of continue to develop, I, I like the green approach because... It's, um, it's a good alternative to yeah. what's Considering out there. I use rosemary and eat it all the time, I right. sit there and I go, yeah. it's rosemary oil, you know? Exactly. And knowing it's such a high need right now that, and the fact that they'll come out Check out, check out your property for free. Right. And, you know, just giving you some practical solutions, too. It's, yeah. you know, yeah. it's all good for you. Exactly. Yeah. You Very know. cool. Yeah. Very cool. But, um, thank you. Yeah, and uh, so yeah. we're going to wrap it up. And uh, have, have a, a great, great weekend. weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks so much.